بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته In the ninth juz of the Quran or the ninth para we continue from where we left off in Surah Al-A'raf and so this juz begins from uh, the stories where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the stories of the prophets with their people. And so Allah mentioned several stories of prophets. And then Allah moves on to the biggest story uh, that he has mentioned here in Surah Al-A'raf. And that is the story of Musa alayhi salam uh, and Fir'aun. And uh, the people of Musa alayhi salam, Bani Israel. And the story is very long here in this particular place. And uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala goes into detail mentioning several events that took place. Uh, and perhaps one of the main lessons that we can uh, learn uh, from uh, this particular uh, story in this particular surah, in Surah Al-A'raf, is that, uh, that Musa alayhi salam, uh, he faced a lot of difficulty and opposition from his enemy, Fir'aun. And we all know Fir'aun was uh, a powerful tyrant. Uh, but yet Musa alayhi uh, salam, you know, his resolve did not weaken. Even though, you know, in front of him was a huge tyrant uh, who had so much power, uh, what he kept on, what Musa alayhi salam kept on reminding his people of, is to, you know, uh, attach themselves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To basically direct their hearts to Allah and put their reliance and their trust in Allah and His victory. And not to rely upon themselves. And so this is what Musa alayhi salam would always remind his people of. To be patient, to, to be steadfast, not to weaken in your resolve put your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and He subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant you victory if you, uh, you know, remain strong in your iman and your tawakkul and so on and so forth. And so this is a huge lesson that we can learn, especially uh, today, uh, especially for our Muslim brothers and sisters who are suffering at the hands of tyrants uh, today, who are oppressing them and doing them injustice. Uh, among the stories that Allah mentions uh, here uh, in the end of Surah Al-A'raf is the story of uh, Ashab Al-Qariyah, uh, the, the, the inhabitants of the town that was on the seaside, uh, basically who uh, transgressed regarding the Sabbath, uh, who basically uh, were uh, forbidden to uh, go out and uh, fish and catch fish in the sea on Saturdays. Uh, and so they try to find a way around that. And so Allah mentions uh, their deception and their cheating uh, here in this surah. And Allah mentions uh, regarding this uh, story, uh, the those who basically, uh, those who commanded the good and forbade the evil, who basically forbade their people from, you know, cheating and uh, transgressing. Uh, and so this is an important lesson to, to learn, uh, that there should always be among uh, or, or in the society those who will command the good and forbid the evil. Otherwise, uh, that society will basically become destroyed. Uh, also, we have here... Uh, towards the very end of uh, uh, Surah Al-A'raf. In fact, the very last verse of Surah Al-A'raf is uh, a verse of sajda, uh, sujood, which is, uh, you know, the very first place in the Qur'an where we are supposed to make sajda uh, upon, upon hearing uh, the verse of, uh, uh, of a sujood. And then after that, we move on to Surah Al-Anfal. Surah Al-Anfal, uh, which basically means the spoils of war, or the booty of war. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala begins the surah by uh, saying, يَسْأَلُونَكَ عَنِ الْأَنْفَالِ 
they ask you concerning the spoils of war. Uh, and this was right after Surah Al-Badr. Uh, this was right after uh, Ghazwat Badr, right after uh, the Battle of Badr. And so the Muslims had all of these uh, spoils that they had collected from the enemy after being victorious in the Battle of Badr. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions, yes, anfal, they ask you concerning uh, the booty, but Allah does not answer the question right away. But rather, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala changes the subject to something more important, and that is the, the issue of at taqwa and uh, upholding the ties of kinship. Uh, why? Because when people start thinking about this, the spoils of war, they're thinking about the dunya, and so they, they will forget about the taqwa, the taqwa of Allah and uh, their ties of kinship. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds them of this until the very end of this juz, and then in the beginning of the next juz, that is where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answers the question of yes'alunaka anil anfar, they ask you about the spoils of war, what do we do with these spoils? Allah answers that question there. Uh, in this uh, surah, in Surah uh, Al-Anfal, in this beginning part of the surah, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala basically uh, uh, mentions uh, several, uh, or he mentioned first of all, uh, the story of Ghazwat Badr, the battle of Badr, how it took place, how the Muslims went out, and uh, what happened, and so on and so forth. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also mentions uh, some uh, uh, rulings pertaining to uh, pertaining to the, the 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 rulings and the legislations of jihad, and with that uh, we come to the end of this juz, the ninth juz of the Quran, and uh, in the next session we will move on to uh, the tenth juz. Until then, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.